Mm -mm. Greetings, Captain Adam. Oh, hey, little creep. Hey, they're playing a Robocop marathon on Channel One. Want to go watch it? Hmm, I don't care. Well, do you want to go play with your Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toys? You can be Friar Tuck this time. No. Say, how about a joke? Okay, what's Medusa's favorite cheese? <laughs> what? Gorgonzola. <laughs> you get it? Gorgonzola? Gorgon? You get it? You get it? Mm, yeah. Well, that's the thing with jokes about Greek mythology. They're always hit or myth. <laughs> Ooh, rough crowd. <laughs> you want to go watch the making of Shark Truck 2? Mm, I don't care. You uh, want to go play Pogs or something? Uh, you can use my slammers. No. Gosh, mm. what on earth is the matter? I've never seen you be such a wet blanket before. Well, you know that copy of Blood Beach I have? Your most prized VHS. The only VHS release of Blood Beach. Yeah, supposedly. Supposedly? What do you mean? <sighs> Turns out it's not the first distribution. <gasps> Gasp! But how can that possibly be? I've been told by everyone that it's the only VHS distribution. Nah, there's more than one. Well, I, I can't believe it. I won't believe it. Mm, it's true. Ask V.C. Arnold. This is outrageous. Uh, V.C. Arnold, this can't possibly be true, can it? Affirmative. I'm afraid it's true. One of the biggest myths of VHS collecting is that Blood Beach only had one VHS distribution in 1981. In reality, it had two separate distributions. The first one was in 1982, the second in 1985. However, it would appear that the sleeve itself was produced in 1981, as per the date listed on the back. And that listed year is the date that people usually go by when chronicling and dating VHS, giving people the delusion that it was released in 1981, when in fact it was released in 1982 and in 1985. In an effort to reduce production cost, the manufacturer decided to keep the same sleeve, yet reissue different cassettes. This is all speculation, because what the hell do I know? I'm just a VCR. But this is the most probable scenario, and should remind everyone that when dating your VHS, always check the cassette. Idiot! However, whatever distribution of Blood Beach you have is still rare, but it's not the VHS enigma it's been made out to be. <gasps> My mm -hmm. word! See? Well, that's preposterous. Why would they do something like that? Well, just like the Van Halen album 1984 was actually released in 1983, it's entirely possible for a company to do something like this. Why would the sleeve be made before the tape? Well, I'm not sure. But clearly, that's what's happened. The sleeve was manufactured in 1981, and the cassette was manufactured in 1982, and again in 1985, which is a distribution I have. Why does everyone assume, though, it was only released in 81? Well, because you go by what's on the sleeve. I mean, it's only natural, so of course everyone's going to be deceived. Deceived by the sleeve? Oh, what trickery! Well, that's VHS collecting. It's way harder than it should be sometimes. So here, all along, you thought you had the one and only VHS distribution. Yeah, it's a bummer. I thought I had something special. Oh, Pashaw, you do have something special. You have all your fans out there, and you have the friendship of me. Mm, that's true. Your friendship is pretty special, and you out there are pretty special as well. Hey, you should do an opening sequence video of your copy of Blood Beach. Mm, I don't know. It's not that interesting. There's not even any previews. You could do an artsy-fartsy intro like you usually do. Mm, yeah, I could. And you should. You know, you really shouldn't be so downtrodden about this. The distribution you do have is still pretty rare. Yeah, I am pretty happy to have it. Think about it. You have one of the only ones out there. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. It's still pretty special. So, well, anyways, you guys enjoy this opening pre-movie sequence to the 1985 distribution of the media release of Blood Beach. Even though it's not the only VHS distribution, it's still pretty neat. Yeah, it's still pretty interesting. And are you going to include a neat little intro? Of course I'm going to. <laughs> so anyways, enjoy the show. Be sure to hit subscribe. We'd certainly appreciate it if you did so. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Thank you.